So we decided enough was enough. We're basically going to go sit in a diner. Oh, diners are great. You know, you, you sit down, there's menu, but you really don't need the menu because they'll make anything for you. Well, that's how you know you're in a good diner. And, and you know, the, the food's always good and it's still reasonably priced. So, I, you know, I, I don't really have much more to say uh, about that. It's, it's always a good time. Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com, and today I'm going to show you my latest Autopilot V2 test. Um, basically, I'm going to show you how I have it set up and some things I did to show you that's a very smooth experience um, and how I got it going. Um, not to say you need to stop using V1. I just, for all the things we looked at, you know, where V2 didn't have a smooth start, I want to show you, you know, where we are now. So, uh, well, I don't need to explain. I'm trying to say I love diners. Get Rubik's, solving for the modern workplace. Okay, so to get started here, I'll show you where I landed with my provisioning. So I'm gonna go to Windows, Enrollment, Device Preparation Policies. So I ended up using this one. And basically what I had, so I'm putting the device in my group. Um, deployment mode, so here, let's take a quick look at the apps. I'm adding one, two, three, four apps to the provisioning. So the autopilot branding app, uh, company portal, Intune Remote Help, and uh, Microsoft 365, my out of box experience, our 45 minutes, default message, and no PowerShell scripts at the moment. So we're gonna go ahead. Now, the one thing I did do um, is the device we are going to use to test this is uh, Windows Enterprise. So if I show you here, it is on the Enterprise build. And we are using 23H2. Specifically, I had a lot of luck with the 22631.3593 revision, which should be the latest. Uh, so I had no problems there. Uh, so let's walk through this. Now, obviously to get a device on Windows Enterprise, it's not gonna be out of the box. So meaning it has to be touched first. Um, I don't have a good answer for that, but I want to at least show you the experience. So now that we're past that, you know, you're still going to get some of the quote unquote consumer things, but other pieces go away, right? Because we're using enterprise. Okay. So I still see the license agreement. I hit accept. I did not see two very important screens. I didn't see the option to rename the PC and the option to choose is this personal or work. So by using enterprise to start, these two options go away. So something to keep in mind uh, when we're looking about deploying this. So now I can go right ahead and we'll use Bruce Wayne, rubixdev.com, sign in here. And we should proceed directly to the uh, provisioning setup. So let's take a look. Okay, so you can see right here, we're moving into uh, the setup. We're installing the Intune Management Extension. Then we're gonna move on to, uh, of course, policies and applications. So we'll let this sit and we'll uh, take a look once it's complete. Okay, so now that the required setup is complete, we'll hit next and you still gotta complete the setup. Uh, privacy settings. Now you can set Intune policy uh, for some of these things since you will be enrolled here if you want to customize that. And that's it. We should be all set. All right. So you see a lot of similarities from our previous build. So I have my corporate wallpaper. Um, you can see the start menu got shifted over, search icon. We're all good there. I'm signed in here, and again, even though this was more of a user-centric deployment, if I try to run something as administrator, I'm still not an administrator because Autopilot Device Prep lets me block that. And my apps should all be here. So if I look at what was installed, Company Portal, we know the Autopilot branding is there. The Remote Help should be there. There it is, Remote Help. Oh, and the Office app should be there and ready to go. Okay, great. And I'm still SSO'd in as Bruce here. 
One more thing I wanted to show you as, uh, after we did that enterprise enrollment is I wanted to show you the monitoring and reporting you get from uh, the device preparation now in Intune. If I go back to my Intune console, we're gonna go ahead and head to devices and monitor. You see one of the options here now is device, Windows Autopilot device preparation. So a bunch of things here. There's some stuff in progress, success. Um, actually, that looks like that might be mine it's still showing us that, but we have some pretty good reporting here. So I want to show you just a few examples. So if we look at this one I did from this morning, this was a successful deployment with this policy. We could see oh, if I hit refresh. Now this should be showing me all the apps were installed. Some of these are still showing in progress. I, I know they're there. So this might just be some latency on the reporting. And of course, no scripts here. Let's take a look at one that failed. All right, so this one failed, but why did it fail? There's really no indication here of what failed. All my apps were there. Um, now it looked like at the time I had a script that probably failed but it could have also been a timing issue. So there's still some room to go there because, I mean, this isn't really giving me a whole lot. Now you'll see if the devices are no longer there, you're gonna see this GUID object instead of the device name, because um, I've since taken it out. But let's take a look at our current one in progress desktop. It still says in progress, but the apps are showing installed. There shouldn't be any scripts. Okay. So this looks like it's just waiting for um, the provisioning status to catch up. So I bet you if I come back in a moment, yep, it is already successful. And the cool thing is it's giving you your deployment time. So you can generally see your averages. And this is something in the past we didn't have with V1. And, and hopefully they'll, they'll merge these together at some point. I could see deployment times, and this is super helpful because I talk about average deployment times a lot. So by looking at this, you would say, okay, if we were to leave the uh, timeout at 30 minutes, we're gonna be more than okay. Because you could assume these are all different internet speeds, right? 17 minutes, that took a while. Eight minutes, that was pretty quick. And this one I did just an hour later was at 12 minutes. So you get that average time and uh, it's really helpful. All right, so that was a quick one. I just kind of wanted to show kind of the complete picture, right? Talk about it with Enterprise and also uh, show the monitoring. So still a lot of room to grow. We are allowing personal enrollment for this to work. Soon as they add the corporate identifier feature back, we're gonna use that. So until then, I can't really recommend it for production, but if you wanna test with it and get familiar with it, and you're not happy with the Windows 10 Pro out of box experience, you can put in an Enterprise uh, key, uh, get an Enterprise ISO, uh, for testing and uh, use that and you see it's a little bit more streamlined. We got a lot of new stuff. This is going to be our last one on Autopilot V2 for now. We'll revisit it later, but uh, we have some new stuff we're going to be jumping into this week. Um, so we'll be seeing you.